So you want to create motion graphics in Final Cut Pro, but you're worried you don't have the right design or animation skills, or it looks too complex and you just give up right away. Don't worry. In this video, I'm going to show you drag and drop motion graphics you didn't know you had right at your fingertips. And I'll share how to make three essential motion graphics right in Final Cut Pro. No design or animation skills necessary. And at the end, I'll reveal how you can get over 90 motion graphics worth $138 for free. Let's get going. So Final Cut Pro comes with a lot of built-in motion graphics. They're really good looking and they're easy to use. Final Cut Pro comes with 2D and 3D text animations, scoreboards, slideshows, lower thirds, titles, and so much more. Let's play around with a few of them. Go to the title browser, clicking up here, and go to bumper opener, and let's play with this stacked template right here. I'll select it, and I'll press E to add it to the end of my timeline. Here's what it looks like out of the box. Doesn't look that good, does it? That's because you gotta add some video or pictures to these drop zones. So select the title and open up the inspector. You should see it over here on the right hand side. If you don't, click this button up here, the three sliders to open the inspector. And go to the titles inspector and you'll see our places and you'll see our drop zones to add media. We need four clips. So we'll click on one, go back to the browser, find the clip you want to include, and click on the start location, then press apply clip, and then do that for the other remaining three. All right, now that we have our clips in there, now we need to add our text. Scroll to the first text section, and then hover over your text until you see this white box, and double click it to add your own text. Then scroll to the next section and do the same. What is New York known for? Traffic! All right, let's go to the next section smells, noise, and lots of people, right? And then we have a, the last section here. We'll put in our title, and it's a little bit big, so let's reduce the font size right here. I love NYC. Okay, let's play it back. Not bad for free and built into Final Cut Pro. Okay, now let's look at a lower third. Go back to the title browser and go down to this section called social. And let's play with this lower third called fun. Add it to our timeline. I'll adjust the duration by pressing option right bracket to trim it. Here's what we've got. It's a nice, simple, good looking lower third. Select the title clip and in the text inspector, we can change the text. You'll notice that the box automatically changes size to fit with the text, pretty nice. Then if we go to the text inspector, we can make some changes here. We can, we can turn the animations on or off so that it just shows up and we don't have the animation, but we're making motion graphics here. We want that movement. We can also pick the layout, centered or right or left-hand side, and we can go large. Oh, I like that. I think that was good. And we can change the colors. Let's go from a light blue to a dark blue and let's play it back that looks pretty good nice animated lower third in seconds all right now go to the credits section and let's play with photo album drag and drop it onto your clip and play it back oh that looks pretty good we can change the text easily and if we go to the title inspector, we have some more options here. We can change the text size, color, font, and we can turn the animation on and off. Here's what it looks like. So you can create a quick opening title in Final Cut Pro and add a little bit of polish to your video. There are a ton more motion graphics in Final Cut that you can use, and I encourage you, play around with them. You'll be pleasantly surprised with what you get for free. All right, let's make a wedding motion graphics title. First, I want to go down to my generators, click on backgrounds, and let's use this event ornamental one. I'll drag and drop it on top of my wedding clip, and let's see what we've got. We've got some ornaments animating on. That looks pretty good. Let's go to the inspector and customize this a little bit. First, let's change our color scheme 
to burgundy and cream. And let's change pattern to Victorian. Now we have this nice looking ornament scrolling along, but we can't see the clip under it. Go to the video inspector and let's drop the opacity a little bit. Let's go to about 65. Go into your clip about one second and set a keyframe next to opacity. Go to the end, go to about one second from the end and add another keyframe and then go all the way to the last frame in the clip and set the opacity to zero. Go to the beginning, set opacity to zero as well. Now it fades in as the clip plays. All right, now let's add some text. Go up to the title browser and select build in and out and add soft edge to your timeline. Start it just after the animation begins for the background and end it right before it's done animating off. Select the text and change the alignment to center. Let's add our text. I'll use me and my wife. That looks pretty good. And let's recenter it. And let's change the font to something a little more elegant looking. I like this one right here. And let's make the text a little bit bigger. Let's change the color. Scroll down and click on show next to face. And let's find a good color that matches. And this text has a little bit of drop shadow on it. I want to turn that off. And here's our wedding title opening motion graphics. Whoops, I didn't. I need to move that up a little bit. There we go. Center it. All right, let's check it out. Not bad for no design or animation skills. Looks pretty good. Next, let's build a lower third. Go down to generators and go to elements and add shapes to your timeline and then trim it. Let's change this shape to a rectangle and let's turn off the outline and let's turn off drop shadow and let's move it to the area we want it in. We can use these title action safe zones to know this inner rectangle is where text should be. So let's move this to the inner rectangle. That looks pretty good. Now let's go to video editor and let's change our color to a blue. Go to video inspector and let's animate this using crop. Set a keyframe for right and then adjust it until all of the rectangle is gone. Okay, now move forward in time about a second and set right back to zero. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, it animates in. That looks pretty good. Now, let's add some text to that. Let's go back up to build in and out. And this time, let's add continuous above our shape and trim it. Let's change the text. We'll call him Dr. Dylan. And let's move it on top of our shape and center it. Then go to the text inspector and let's adjust the in duration. Let's make it animate faster. There we go. That looks better. Go to the text inspector and let's turn off glow and outline. Let's take a look now. That looks pretty good. Now let's add a subtitle. So let's hold down option and click and drag, create a copy of it. And let's move it over here to the other side and, and let's put in our subtitle. Let's make it a little bit smaller and a different font. There we go. And let's see our lower third. Uh, Eye Doctor starts animating too early, so let's trim it animate on just a little bit later. And then to animate out, let's select our shape generator, go back to crop and add a keyframe about a second before it ends, and then another keyframe at the very end and adjust our right value. And now it animates out like so. Nice. Now let's make an animated logo end screen for this podcast. All right, okay, go down to generators and go to textures and add gradient on top of your clip. We'll trim it down, select the gradient and use these on-screen controls to set the start and end points. I want it to go from corner to corner. Go to the generators inspector and let's set our colors. We'll go from this light purple to a dark purple. Okay, now I want this to fade on and off. So we'll go to the beginning and just like before, set a keyframe for opacity. We'll move in about, oh, a second, set another keyframe, go to the end, a second from the end, add a keyframe and the end, go to the last clip and add a, another keyframe. Now set that last keyframe to zero and go to the previous keyframe with this button and set it to 85%. Go to the previous keyframe 
and set it to 85 as well, and then go to the very first keyframe and set it to zero. So now it fades on, but we can still see through it a little bit, and then it fades out. Now let's add our logo. I have a generic little podcast logo here. I'll add it to my timeline, and I'll trim up the timing. I want it to end and start a little bit after the gradient starts to animate. So here's what it looks like. It just kind of pops on screen. It's a little too big, so let's select it, right click, select transform, and then use this corner handle to shrink it. And let's leave it right in the center. That looks good. But it just pops up on screen. Let's add a little bit of life to it. Open up Transition Browser, go down to Movement category, and find this transition called Spin. I love using this one. Drag and drop it onto your logo. Delete the second transition, and let's shorten this first one. And select the transition, this on-screen control sets where the logo animates from and and how much rotation it does so let's set that and check it out Spins a little too much all right how's that look much better okay now let's add it to the end by holding down option and click and drag it to the end select the transition go to the inspector and change direction to out and let's adjust our on-screen control to go over to the right hand side and animate to the right as well or spin to the right and here's what we've got that looks pretty good in just a few minutes we created opening titles lower thirds and end credits we also created some really cool wedding titles and an animated logo end screen for a podcast and we did all of this in final cut without any design or animation experience isn't that amazing? Pat yourself on the back. You did great. I have a free gift of motion graphics for you. It's a pack of titles, effects, and transitions called Freebie Pop, and it's worth $138, but you get it for free. Just click on the link in the description. I promise you'll love it.